feeling distracted, uh, not focused, not getting your goals accomplished because you find yourself focusing on so many things that you can't focus on one. Well, I'm going to talk to you today about the 80-20 rule and how you can implement creating a daily standard in order to build a successful real estate business. Hey, everybody. My name is John Dietz. I'm a real estate trainer, coach, team builder for EXP Realty. Thank you for joining me today and let's get started. All right. So there's this thing called the 80-20 rule. And the way this works is 20% of what you do creates 80% of the results that you're getting. Now, if that's true, then the next question would be, what's the 20%? So there's five things that make up your 20%. These are $5 producing activities that create income for you as a real estate agent. Number one, lead generation. Until lead generation is done, everything else is a distraction. Now, you have to define lead generation. It's not good enough to say, okay, I'm going to lead generate for two hours. Awesome. What does that mean to you? So create a standard that you are going to hit every day because it's a non-negotiable standard. By the way, while I'm on the subject, there's no such things as minimum standards. For those of you who are training and coaching and telling people, hit your minimum, you got to hit your minimum standards. What is that? Okay. There's no such thing. Just standards. All right. So what's your standard? For me, it's 20 conversations and three appointments booked, whichever comes last. That's my daily standard for lead generation. Now, it doesn't have to be that for you. Uh, and pick a number. If it's five conversations and it's one person added to my database and one new lead, then awesome. Do that. Uh, it's a standard that you have to hit that defines lead generation until lead generation is done. Everything else is a distraction. Everyone else is a distraction. The second thing that makes up your 20% is meeting with buyers and sellers, scheduling appointments to get face to face with people who are thinking of buying a home and people who are thinking of selling their home. Go on appointments. My daily standard is I'm going to schedule three appointments a day so I can sit on two appointments because one of them is going to get canceled or rescheduled. And when I meet with two potential clients every single day and I'm working 250 days a year, that's 50 weeks times five days, I'm going to meet with 500 people. So that's my pipeline of potential business. The third thing that's going to make up your 20% as a real estate agent is take seller listings. And you've got to, you've got, you've got to, again, you've got to hit your standard. So how many homes do you want to sell in the next 12 months? If 50% of that business is coming from the listing side of the business, then you're going to have to take at least a number of the number of listings that you're going to need in order to close the number of seller side deals that you want to close. So for example, if your goal is 36 sales and 18 of them are going to be listing side, you got to take at least 18 listings. Now, more than likely, it's going to take more than that, especially as the market shifts. Let's just say it's 24 because the math is simple on this. That's two listings a month. So take seller listings. How many? Two listings a month in order to sell 18 in order to close 36 deals. All right. The fourth thing that makes up your 20% is writing offers and negotiating contracts. And the fifth thing is practicing and role-playing your scripts. If you were a golfer and you wanted to get better at your golf game, where would you go? You would go to the driving range and you would hit golf balls. Okay, so as a real estate agent, you want to get better at your craft. Where do you go? You spend time practicing, drilling, and rehearsing and role-playing your scripts. Master the conversations of real estate so that your conversion ratios go up. You get more appointments. So that you take more listings, you're converting the appointment to a listing taken and you're overcoming objections. When you get hit with an objection, you should never be caught by surprise. You should be a, a, a an objection collector. And every time you write down a new objection, write down three responses to that objection and PDR, practice and drill, practice, drill, rehearse those responses so that when you hear your commission's too high, you can respond with, okay, if I were willing to lower my fee, would you hire me today? Yes, cool. Can I share with you why that concerns with me? 
You see, if I hear somebody ask me to negotiate my fee, I'm hearing them ask how good of a negotiator I am. And the good news for you is I'm a really good negotiator. You see, if I were willing to give away my money that I use to support my family that quick, how quick am I going to give away your money when we have an offer on your home? Now, if you're asking me if my fee is negotiable, the answer is yes, just not today. When we have an offer on your home, if I need to give up money in order to make the deal work, I will because I'm a deal maker, not a deal breaker. All right, there's two responses to your commission's too high. All right, practice, drill, rehearse your real estate scripts. It's part of your 20%. Do those five things every day. Time block those five things every day that should be in your calendar. And you're going to build a successful real estate business. Now, let's go back to how I started. Focus. If you're having a hard time with focus, it's because you're trying to look at everything. Narrow your focus and just focus on the one thing that is going to move you closer to your goal. Make sure that gets done today. All right, everybody. I'm John Deet, speaker, trainer, coach, team builder for EXP Realty. If you like what you heard today, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you'd like to schedule time to get on my calendar to either talk about coaching or possibly talk about being a part of my team, hit that calendar link below and let's schedule some time to get face to face. You're one of my appointments. I want to meet with you today. <laughs> John Dietz, make it a great day.